We're on Cold War trying to answer a very simple question. Is it a good idea to go for Dark Matter Ultra, even though this game is old now? Kind of, not really, it's like one year old, but you get the idea. Now, what I will say is that it's not hard. It's just like time consuming and gets on your nerves. Like if you have multiple bad games in a row where you just don't lock any camos and you keep going negative and keep getting killed by like basic sniper nerds, then yeah, you're gonna get pissed, but like it's not hard. You just gotta like get past that somehow. Also, for some reason, every once in a while, you're gonna run into that one lobby where there's some kid on the other team just, like, constantly spamming stun grenades every single, like, second. Moments like those, like, those are gonna get on your nerves. If, you, if, if things like that like, are enough to, like, make you give up on something that quickly, then I wouldn't recommend this. But personally, I have nothing going on in my life, so this is perfect. Another thing is, if you like playing, like, a variety of maps or just hate doing the same thing over and over again, I do not recommend Nuketown 24-7. You're gonna have to do it anyways, just for, like, all the UAV challenges and, like, the long shots, since there's, like, very specific, like, spots that are, like, they just make those, like, painfully easy. The long shots, at least. If you like a variety of maps, I recommend you use face-off for everything else, because it's just more fun that way. Although, I will say, for long shots and other things, I would recommend Hardcore Nuketown. Another thing is, always have a launcher secondary, because then, like, that way, instead of, like, just leaving literally every launcher challenge for the end you can still complete some of them like in the middle so let's say you're on an ar you're on smg and then suddenly like there's like a uav in the sky or something or like a really easy kill streak or like a field mic or like some other like field upgrade that isn't a trophy system or activated gas mine which god i hate those you can just rocket launch it and then that's like immediately that's like one point to like the equipment camos it makes things a lot faster so if you want to go for dm ultra i mean do it if you want but Nah. Now right now I have to do the long shots. So here's how I do those first of all Just get rid of like a attachment that you don't need if you don't have the space for an optic Get rid of put on like the longest optic in this case the 4x going to hardcore nuketown and just like wait to point lobby There is also the option of using an unlock tool But if you do that, you're just kind of lame low-key basically if the spot if you like spawn on this house this yellow house You have to like push up over here Now you have two spots you have this spot. Okay. Well the game's ended oh, nice I got just losing it. Basically, you head over here to like little, this little spot at the yellow house, and then you can camp on here, or you can camp on here. Both of those give you give you guaranteed long shots. People go there often because they also want to get long shots. On the other side, it's 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 the same thing. Over here, you can like stand like over there, and then you get like a bigger view to this garage. However, in exchange, you don't get like a second view kind of but this is basically all you do stand there you watch those long areas and you're guaranteed to get long shots i don't know how it works on every gun maybe if you're like using a sniper you like actually need to go on like fire team or whatever the hell or, like war zone for ars smgs basically every other gun that has long shots you just go there and you'll be fine although sometimes you'll also just try to get them accidentally how much is there left okay there's not much left i do not want to play this any longer yeah there's a long shot it's, it's just that easy you just stand here and you just keep getting kills now it might look like you're camping and you should be be ashamed of yourself but like you're playing on hardcore nuketown if you touch this category you should automatically be ashamed of yourself if you don't see that many people over here which i mean we just did then you just go to the other spot six from he, sh he shot himself also there's some guy like playing an audiobook like out of his car speakers like out loud like i think they had like their doors open so that everyone can hear their book hopefully that's not gonna be picked up because i don't know how like youtube copyright works when it comes to audiobooks kind of gets taken out because of some random ass guy in a car well don't be discouraged if you just randomly have those games where like literally nobody appears in the long shot spots that does happen that does occasionally happen then you end up getting like three long shots total i'm not finishing this game